what you eat. But every day around the country, families are becoming more and more concerned with what they're eating. From reports of harmful pesticides to food recalls and foodborne illnesses like salmonella and E. coli, you never know what can threaten your health. Many aspects of food safety, especially at the supermarket level, disturbs me because the hygiene is lacking. Dr. Shauki Ibrahim knows all about food safety. He has spent over 30 years studying agricultural and environmental health science, much of his focus in your friendly neighborhood supermarket. And I remember one day uh, the produce guy took me inside the warehouse, where, you know, when uh, they receive the produce right from the market, from the uh, farm, and you wouldn't believe the dirt and the filth and worms and uh, impurities that comes with these products to the supermarket. Which is why he says when it comes to food safety, just plain water isn't good enough. Many of these compounds are not even water soluble. So when you just rinse it with running water, pesticides will not come off. Fertilizers, residue will not come off. If you wash it casually, you will leave good 50, 60, 70 percent behind. By the time our food reaches our plates, it's trucked over 1,500 miles, sprayed with numerous chemicals, covered with a film of wax, and touched by at least 20 different sets of hands. And only 1 percent of imported foods are inspected by the FDA. And when you bring your groceries home, most of these contaminants you won't see with the naked eye. It's amazing how much dirt and filth uh, is buried between the leaves inside and uh, that's what you can see. Now what you can't see is a lot probably a lot more because you cannot see the pesticides, you cannot see uh, fertilizer residues, you can't see many other, you can't see microorganisms. According to the Center for Disease Control, each year about 10,000 deaths and more than 80 million illnesses are attributed to eating contaminated food. You might get by for a while but is it worth taking the risk? A risk, Dr. Ibrahim says, you don't have to take.